Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are going to be doing another Forzathon guide. Uh, this week's Forzathon called Playtime wants you to own and drive any track toy vehicle uh, and use that track toy for all of this week's challenges. So without further ado let's get stuck into this. Uh, now obviously you want to filter your cars to see what track toys you've got uh, and there is actually quite a lot. Um, the Caterham definitely is a very good one. Um, you know you've got Ferrari, you've got some Jags, uh, a lot of Lotuses to pick from, but the one that I went for was the 911 GT3 RS because it is a very, very good and fun car to use. Um, and if you want to pick this one, I have created a tune for you guys to use called Forzathon. Uh, it should hopefully help you out. Now, the first challenge wants you to get a total of 12 stars from speed zones. Now, as you may be aware, I always use the forest green speed zone. Uh, and the reason is because to get three stars, you only need to hit 90 mile an hour. Um, so it's actually a really, really easy one. It's probably the easiest speed zone in the whole game. Um, and it will actually be quite quick to complete it all so to get 12 stars all you need to do is four runs getting three stars in each run uh, and most of the track toys pretty much all of them actually should be able to easily hit 90 mile an hour around the whole thing even if you just keep it steady at about 100 you'll be absolutely fine uh, you don't have to bomb it around there but it's down to yourself obviously the faster you go around the faster you'll get the challenge done at the end of the day um, so four runs of three stars uh, and that's the easiest way to complete the first challenge it's a very very nice and quick challenge and the Porsche is definitely up to the job of doing it now the next challenge here wants you to earn a total of one million skill score which we've had a lot of sort of similar ones recently now whatever car you're using I definitely recommend buying out all of the perks um, you know the Porsche doesn't have many but a lot of the other cars will do uh, and then I recommend heading over to the airfield now as I'm sure you'll be aware all of my previous videos where we've had a challenge like this I always go over to the airfield to complete the challenge uh, and that's because there's just so much stuff that you can smash into uh, as well as getting your drift skills and your air skills you know you can get speed skills if you really want to uh, there's a main road throughout the whole thing so you can get near miss skills it really really doesn't matter um, and you don't even have to get the whole million points in sort of one sitting or one go I'm just showing you it out of perspective um, but you can do it like I said before over the course of a weekend or the entire week uh, and then finish the last challenge off afterwards because that'll only take a couple of minutes I'll show you in a second but I'm just fast forward in here to show you the million points in one shot so in order to do that depending on what car you're using you'll need 200,000 skill score times by the five multiplier um, but then you might use a, a different track toy car that can go up to a six times multiplier and even then you might even get skill songs you won't need to get that much point at all so it can actually be done a a lot quicker than this uh, depending on what you're using and if you're lucky enough to get a skill song going at the same time but there you saw and that was about 10 minutes of filming um, so it's a very fairly easy challenge um, and it's actually kind of quick uh, now the last one just wants you to win three road circuit events um, now the easiest one I found is the Moorhead wind farm circuit so I didn't create a sort of special track for this um, all I did was create a blueprint for this um, so I've created it called one lap easy because it's just one lap of this race uh, and the share code is 676155178 so all you have to do that is to type that into the search bar uh, and this version of the race will come up or you can just amend a blueprint of your own to one lap of this race but there's no real point in sort of creating your own circuit lap because it's a lot of effort and this one takes about 38 40 seconds per lap depending on what car you're using uh, it might take longer it might take less like I said it's all down to what car you're using at the end of the day but in this Porsche it took about 38 seconds a lap um, obviously it takes longer to load for the actual race than it does to do the race itself so this is another nice easy challenge to win this week's Forzathon on um, and it shouldn't take more than five minutes for the final one so it's actually quite an easy Forzathon just obviously the getting million skill score might take a little while um, but the good thing about this final challenge is you can do it on whatever difficulty you want uh, because it's not a festival playlist event so you can have it on easy um, or, or hard it's entirely down to yourself so, Anyway, guys, I hope this video helped you out. I'm obviously assuming that you guys don't need much help anymore. Um, but if you do, I'm always here to help you out. If you are new to the channel and you did enjoy the video, uh, I would very much uh, appreciate if you could subscribe. Uh, and of course, if you did enjoy it and it did help you out, don't forget to drop a like. But a massive thank you for all of your support. I hope you're still enjoying the content. 
all the very best and take care. Cheers, guys.